Painting for Peace. This is video from nine years ago of more than 100 local artists painting boarded up Ferguson storefronts left damaged during unrest on the city streets after Michael Brown Jr. was killed by a police officer. Well, now one local woman has saved all of that art through the years and is putting it on display. Our Steve Harris has that story. We're here to help clean up where other people have messed up. Most mornings nine years ago, people came to clean up after a night of unrest in Ferguson. As plywood went up, artists came out, creating makeshift masterpieces on construction grade canvas. He represented kind of like the future of, of what things could be. Jamo McCain was one of them. It was very powerful, right? Uh, I would almost call it a life changing just uh, the way the community came together and really had one strong message of hope and peace. Author Carol Swartout Klein was there. The streets, instead of being bleak and covered with plywood, were suddenly covered with color and beautiful pictures. She was so inspired, she wrote a children's book. And when the plywood paintings came down, store owners contacted Carol. And they didn't want to throw it away because they knew it was significant and said, hey, do you want this? And I said, well, sure. She kept them. As many of the murals that we know exist from the Painting for Peace effort that happened in 2014 from Ferguson, Delwood, and the city of St. Louis. In storage, until now. This was on um, Ferguson City Hall. These pieces of history have a permanent home on the walls and in the halls at Del Mar Divine. What were meant to hide evidence of unrest, now quarter inch thick messages to the community. Art really starts the conversation. Jamo's painting is here. It made me feel like uh, my art finally mattered, finally had a voice, finally had, uh, I guess, uh, a, a way to communicate with people. Murals with a message for anyone and everyone to see. I never felt that this was my art. This was always a gift from the community to the community. And to remember what it's like when that community comes together. We can really create something beautiful. And that's what you can see here. Steve Harris, First Alert 4. And the gallery at Del Mar Divine opens to the public with events tomorrow and Saturday. Those events are free. But it's good to know those artworks, uh, pieces of art, have been preserved in just incredible pieces. Yeah, and there's somewhere that you can go see them. Very mm -hmm. cool. Finding